Hey everyone, how are you doing? It's your girl Twin D and thank you for stopping by my channel. Thank you so so much guys so that you can come by, view my messages, your messages. I just give you your messages. And thank you also for your responses, your comments. And guys, I really do appreciate how you help each other each other out in the comment section that's what we're here to do that's what we should do support each other you know because every one of us is on this journey and we do need help sometimes and sometimes if i can't respond i am so happy that you guys are helping each other and that makes me smile a lot <laughs> so thank you guys for that anyways guys I have a message here for you in regards to how your masculines are feeling now in regards to you and the decisions that they have to make seeing that now we are on this lockdown session and a lot of us we have time to think and to make plans and that's what we are going to find out today one 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 so let's see what this new beginning is about <laughs> okay guys let's begin our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come then we'll be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever amen okay guys let's see what's going on here how they are feeling now how are these masculine feelings in regards to the feminine now please perception so their perception has changed in regards to the feminine how they're feeling and thinking about the divine feminine and also you have self-worth so they are gaining a lot of exposure here in regards to themselves and the divine feminine it's like the here they're being shown this is where you should be man you're a king you're an emperor stand in your power stop being so hard on yourself and they're really opening their heart welcoming the divine feminine thank you welcome any divine feminine as the divine feminine not just someone who they see as being madly in love with them obsessed to the point that they cannot let go but they are now appreciating themselves the divine feminine and the love that this divine feminine has for them they realize that this love they can't find it every and anywhere it is special it's a jewel and so is the divine feminine and this divine feminine they are looking and seeing at how how these divine feminines how these women because that's how they see us they don't even know we are divine feminines how these women have transformed their life have transformed the way that they feel about themselves how these women allow them to think differently, act differently, stand up for themselves, stand up for their beliefs, trust themselves, trust God, and trust their intuition. Because a lot of these masculines, some of them weren't spiritual at all. Of course, some of them, they may call out to God sometimes but they never spent any time any real time talking to God and that's changing on the bottom here we have quest so here they are going on a new journey going on a new journey trying to find something what else can you tell me please for these masculines and feminines please Or it's gonna tell me faith. See, just as what I was saying. They're now trusting God. They are now putting their faith in God and following their intuition, knowing that they are divinely guided. 
they are divinely guided they are following their intuition they are moving to a brand new state transforming changing having more faith in God looking to God for answers and this quest card didn't leave the bottom so here they're they want to communicate whether it's to you or they're communicating to God trying to gain answers validation of this connection so it's like what are they looking for are they looking just for answers or for God to validate this connection how else are these masculines feeling about the feminines now please They're going to be working very hard to get past this. To get, get past this struggle, the insecurities. And they know that they have a short period of time to do that. And they'll be working very hard. Again, look out for communication. Because with this blue chakra, that's about communication, the throat chakra. So it's like they know that they have to speak their truth. And it doesn't mean that they're going to sit down at a table with you and start spilling the beans. No, they have to act, act upon the truth and what they have believed and didn't show emotions for. And act upon what God is showing them, following their intuition. On the bottom we have discovery. So see, they are truly discovering themselves. Discovering who they are. And that is divinely guided by God. God is stepping in. God is waking them up. They are releasing the insecurities within, no longer guarding their heart. It's time for them to move forward because they have acknowledged God as the leader in this connection. Because when they turn to God for answers, they got their answers. And whatever they were looking validation for, they got their validations. So now they are trusting God to guide them. Just like you, Divine Feminine, when you get your synchronicities and you know that it's coming from God, you trust those synchronicities. And that's what they are doing. Maybe they are seeking, seeing synchronicity, <laughs> synchronicities also. <laughs> gratitude is on the top, showing their gratitude for this love that God has placed in their life. And it's time for a brand new beginning, a rebirth, a rebirth of this connection. And they know that they are the ones who has to bring this connection back. Allow growth to take place. Oh, that was, that was like deep. Let's see what else they're thinking about now using the good tarot. And you know that I use these cards to get what they're thinking about now this present moment not yesterday not tomorrow thank you but now today whenever you're watching what are these masculine oh my lord look at that first card first card changing their perception Two green their hearts are opening the queen of water which is the queen of cups this is how they're thinking about their divine feminine now as the queen of cups 
10 0 1 reflecting reflecting so the same way you are loving yourself divine feminine that's the same way that they are feeling about you because again you are them and whatever they do reflects on you excuse me and whatever you do reflects on them so this is them having self-care self-love which is why even these two first card is about appreciating themselves finding value in themselves self-care they are now comfortable in their own skin now comfortable with who they are standing up for who they are knowing that they love themselves and in loving themselves they love you and they know that they're always worthy of love because as I said you make them feel like that and they're healing themselves so that they can so that they can see the change that they want in themselves the same change that they want in the world they see it in themselves the same change that they want to see seeing you they have seen themselves that's how they're they're seeing you that's how they're feeling about you now you allow them to see love within themselves you allow them to change how is are these masculines feeling about the feminine please the seven of air this is like the seven of swords this is them feeling free feeling free also now this blue representing communication again so look out for com communi communication now again because they are now feeling the love that they have from for themselves now they have moved on to living life on their own terms not letting anybody tell them what to do not letting anybody tell them what to do and the geese that's a family that's what they're heading towards union heading towards this love that they know is coming from God with these doves they signify love they're heading towards union because they are also feeling self-love, the same love that you feel for themselves. So now they are heading towards union. And they're finding the courage to re reject anything that does not serve them. Conforming to ideas, conforming to people, conforming to a situation. No, that's no more. That's no more. Because look at that, the Empress. The Empress, that's how they're seeing you. And the Five of Earth, this is like the Five of Pentacles in the regular tarot. This is always, in the regular tarot, it's talking about being left out in the cold. But in this good tarot, this is like, this again, is abundance. And that their illusion that they have been living, illusion of lack, like if they left the situation that they were in, they would be lacking, they wouldn't be getting enough, they wouldn't be getting love, they wouldn't be, be, be getting enough abundance. They're not realizing that that was an illusion and they were overlooking the empress that I just showed you. They were overlooking the queen of cups. They were overlooking the abundance that was right within their reach, that was right in front of their face. They know that now with this five of pentacles that all is not what it seems, and that's because God is intervening. God is showing them what they need to do. And that's also because the Divine Feminine is realizing that all is not what it seems. It's just an illusion and only love is real.
and knowing that a change in this perception, the way they look at things can bring in abundance. They know that their perception of you wasn't the right perception, 1515 and that 66 connection from the past. They know that, that their perception of you was an illusion because they were blocked. They were blocked. And they're now, again, with God's help, being called to move away, being called to move away from poverty. Moving on to their abundance. And poverty is not meaning being poor. The lack, the lack of love, the lack of self-appreciation. Now moving on to their abundance, feeling love, feeling appreciated towards their empress. One more card, please. The nine of earth, which is the nine of pentacles. Again, abundance, wish fulfillment. They are now disciplined and determined to move forward to their divine feminine. They now have self-control. And they are making their final steps to come to the, to, the, to the Divine Feminine. Because the Divine Feminine is their wish fulfillment, their Empress, their Queen of Cups. They have made that final decision and they're ready to move forward. The final stone has been placed and a foundation has been set. This is them knowing that they can rely on themselves and God to guide them the right way. They know that the foundation for abundance, love, is secure because this is guided by God. This is well guided by God. This connection, this coming together, this union. Now they're trusting that God is going to allow this, this union, this, this commitment, this love, this relationship to unfold naturally. And they don't have to worry about it. Same with the Divine Feminine. No need to worry about it because God is allowing this connection to unfold naturally. Let's see what's on the bottom. The three of fire, which is the three of wands. So they are really planning here on moving towards the divine feminine. The plan has been set in motion the plan has been set in motion. So during this period of rest, their plans have been set in motion because they have placed their last and final stone. This is them achieving what it is that they desire. Knowing that they're on their right path to success. See them on their boat moving, traveling, Traveling towards the Divine Feminine. Now they know that they can make good choices for themselves because before those illusions were, were just manipulating them. Now they're standing on their own two feet. And on the top you have the world. The world, which is also a number three, which is connecting God, the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. Thank you. Because here, God is calling him to shift his perspective. Remembering that he is first. First. He comes first. To love himself first. 
and being able to experience life the way God intended him to experience life in happiness, peace, joy, success, and not in abuse, not in manipulation, not being used. They can see clearly now and they have no fear and they're, they're setting their plans in motion. Aligning their self with God, going into the 5D. Open up that door to spirit and allowing God to guide their path. Whew, yo, that's, that's, that's freaking deep, man. Oh, my God. Whew. I can't tell you how I'm feeling right now. Oh, my God, you should be feeling this. Oh. It's like these masculines, they, they are now the emperors, man. They're now the emperors. They're driven by God, not by themselves. That's why everything is going to be working out the way God intended it to. Everything is aligned. What are these masculines bringing in, please? What are these masculines bringing in for the Divine Feminine, please? Endings, a new beginning, purging, releasing, releasing the abuse like I was just talking about abuse. Releasing the abuse, resolving the conflicts, resolving the arguments, resolving the suffering from the Divine Feminine, removing the blockages. And here they are, coming in on that white horse. And look at this. Look at that. One, one, one. That brand new beginning on my timer is two, two, two. Oh my Lord. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Brand new beginning. A new beginning in love. Someone new entering your life. New love entering your life. This is your lover. And this is not just anybody from the past. No, I said your lover, the person that loves you. Not the person that pretended that they love you. Not, not, not an ex. This is not an ex. Okay? This is your divine masculine. Coming in again with the nine of cups. Completing cycles, ready for that brand new beginning, ready to reap his rewards. And his reward is a divine feminine there, as I said, wanting to live his life in happiness, peace, joy, success. With that brand new beginning, ace of wands. So you have one, one, one on the board, 11, 11, opening that door. And the locket, that door of bliss. That door of tenderness from the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Cups. Joy, peace, success, happiness. That's what I just said. And there the cards are. The sun and the locket. It's like the same thing. Joy, peace, happiness, success. Cherishing every moment. Because they now realize that. I'm the divine masculine. So they are putting an end to everything that does not serve them, everything that manipulated them, everything that made them feel a lack of self-worth, everything that made them feel unhappy, and now moving towards their brand new fulfillment, the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles. One, 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 brand new beginnings. Brand new beginnings are on the horizon. Watch out for rainbows. Brand new beginnings are on the horizon. Let me put him here. Oh my God. Dub. Oh my God. Oh, there you go. 
This man knows himself. He knows who he is. These masculines know who they are, standing up for who they are. Making that decision, ending what does not serve them. These masculines know who they are. That's it, simple. Simple. Let's get you some, some more message. Let's see what is these masculines are bringing in. Because this is awesome. Brand new beginnings on top of brand new beginnings. Strength. Developing strength. Knowing who I am. Ready to move forward. Ready to take up that baton and run. Ready to start my new life, my brand new beginnings. Ah! Ah, yes! Within a month, expect that commitment coming in. Oh my God! Yes! Oh my goodness, look at that! Oh my God! <laughs> oh. So within a month, Divine Feminines, Things are going to transform. These masculines are coming forward within a month. They have the strength that they need to move forward. To offer this commitment. With all those, with all those um, brand new beginnings. 111 and aces that, that came out on the board. No wonder that came out. No wonder that came out. Because they're realizing divine feminine. That they are here for a reason. They're here for a reason. So those divine feminines who have been at their divine masculines, we are twin flames, we are twin flames. They, they didn't want to give up. Now, all your trials, all you, your tryings to convince these masculines, it's going to pay off. It's going to pay off. Just trust God and allow God to work this out because he's guiding divine masculine back to you. Commitment is coming in. Commitment. True love on the bottom. Let's see what else, please. Let's get some messages from the Romance Angel regarding these masculines and their feminines, please. Making the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. And that's what these masculines realize. That's why they're changing the perspective on the divine feminine because God has shown them where they need to be, what this connection is about, and this is the greatest love that they'll ever experience. And they know it's worth taking the steps that they're guided to take. Ah, divine feminine is worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. You see that? I don't, I don't, I don't talk foolishness, people. Because I listen to God and what he says. I say what he wants me to say. And here he's showing you reconciliation. Someone from your past returning to your life. Just as I was saying, this is not a friggin' ex. Okay? This is not a friggin' stupid ex. This is your masculine. And he showed up twice, one behind the other. This is your masculine, your true love yourself. Reconciliation coming in. And look what this says. Love yourself first. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And that's what's drawing your masculine towards you. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. That's for the divine masculines. They never expected their love of their life to be you. But they're being told to keep an open mind. To make the effort. That's why they're seeing a brand new perspective of you because the way they used to look at you before, that's because you weren't their type. You know, 
but God is showing them, hey, this person is yours. Make the effort. Brilliant idea, Archangel Uriel. Yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action to bring your idea to fruition. So whomever that's for, the masculine or the feminine. But whatever idea you have, just know it's a brilliant idea. Whatever you are planning on doing or saying, it's a brilliant idea. Gentleness. Archangel Sandalphon, be very gentle with yourself at this time. Surround yourself with gentle people, situations, and environments, which is why these masculines are moving from where they are to be with their divine feminine, to be with someone of like-mindedness, someone they know will love them and cherish them. The locket. Not someone to use them and abuse them. They're getting rid of those people. You got the purge card. Getting rid of those people. And that idea that you have, ask God, seek God's guidance. Ask God, is, it, is this a good idea? Should I do this? Should I do that? Let him give you a sign. Then you'll know if that's the idea that you should act upon. And compassion, Archangel Zalkiel. Soften your heart res with respect to this situation and all the people involved, including yourself. Now, this is for the Divine Feminine. That's for, So I say, again, you are reflecting each other, Divine Masculine. Be very gentle with yourself and for the Divine Feminine. Soften your heart with respect to this situation. On the bottom... Archangel Raziel, I am helping your spiritual sight to awaken so you can clearly see heavenly love. That's what God was doing here. Helping the masculine spiritual sight to awaken so you can clearly see heavenly love. And the love that this divine feminine has for this masculine, that's heavenly love, man. That's nothing more beautiful than heavenly love. What you put out is what you get back. Try putting out negativity to God. Let God know what it is that you desire. He'll give it back to you. He or she loves you. One more, please. To love yourself is to love God, and I did say that before. To love yourself is to love God. And these masculines are now loving their self, themselves, which is why they can now trust God to lead and guide them. Stand strong for both of us. So divine feminines, don't back down. Keep on going. Your masculine is asking you to stand strong for both of you because you're the leader. What you do reflect on them. Keep loving yourself. You're giving them the strength that they need to break free and move forward to you. Divine Feminines, let's get you some advice on what you should be working on for yourself. Growth. Seek out a mentor or guide. Take baby steps as you grow. Be willing to learn from others. There you go. Seek guidance. And take baby steps. When these things occur, and when your masculine does come back, take baby steps. Don't be rushing. Don't be wanting to hear apologies. You don't have to get an apology. Him coming back is apologies in enough. And if you're still looking for an apology, that means you have not healed. That means you're still looking at who is wrong from who is right. That's not what unconditional love is about. Anger. Safely express your anger. Use anger as a positive force. Honor all your Emotions as sacred. And strength. There you go. The strength card is out again. This, channel, this challenge will make you stronger. You will get through to the other side. Look for the gift 
in this situation. Look for the gifts in this situation. This challenge will make you stronger, Divine Feminine. And then you have friendship. Seek out your soul family. Surround yourself with positive people. Spend more time socializing. Well, not outside, you know. Corona is outside, you know. So now is the time for internet. <laughs> Socialize with the internet. And on the top of the deck, you have flow. Find an easier path forward. Surrender the outcome. Release your expectations. Let things flow. God is doing his job. It's for you now to do your job. Divine Feminines, this has been your reading. You've seen what your masculines are up to. It's time for you to work forward to it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for whenever I post new messages. Thank you all. Love you. Bye.